Despite a landmark victory in his court case against Mirror Group newspapers, Prince Harry finds himself in a pyrrhic situation, as described by GB News royal correspondent Patrick Christie's. The Duke of Sussex's legal triumph was marred by Christie's assessment that winning the case doesn't absolve him from the broader conflict he seems to be entangled in with his family. Christie's characterized it as a hollow victory, emphasizing that while Prince Harry may have successfully challenged some elements of the tabloid press, he simultaneously waged war on his own family and, by extension, the British public. This shift in focus, from battling the media to internal familial conflicts, is deemed by Christie's as unforgivable, leaving Prince Harry in a precarious position where the cost of his actions extends beyond legal victories. Christie's went on to express his understanding of Prince Harry's desire to confront the tabloids, but he also highlighted the collateral damage inflicted. Notably, the royal correspondent pointed out that Prince Harry's actions caused discomfort to the late Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip in their final moments. The expert implied that, in the process, Prince Harry exhibited disrespect towards King Charles and further strained his relationship with his brother, Prince William, by metaphorically burning bridges. While the legal win may be a momentary triumph, Christie suggests that in reality, Prince Harry has lost much more, urging him to cling to this victory as it may be one of the few positives he has left in the aftermath of the broader family fallout.